Um, so in this video, I am going to show you guys how to um, how to use uh, public and private key authentication uh, to log into your server. So why would you want to do this? Well, the first reason is convenience. It's a lot easier just to uh, type one quick command um, and boom, you're up at your server. Uh, and you don't have to mess around with your password. Um, and you'll find over time it's just a lot easier. Another reason, uh, many people would say the more important reason um, it is makes your server more secure. Um, it is less likely that your server will be broken into. Um, so, all right. So right now I'm on a Mac, and this is a this is a uh, a virtual private. I have a virtual private server account up at uh, DigitalOcean. Again, DigitalOcean.com. I found. Uh, that they are pretty uh, they're pretty good it's pretty easy it's pretty straightforward um, they also have a bunch of different preset configurations whether you want to use a uh, lamp stack you want to use node.js it's up to you they'll have a bunch of stuff ready to go so you don't have to go through the process of installing all that <clears throat> um, they have sort of you know packages they know that someone with particular stack is going to need to do all these installations so they do it in advance and you can pick them it's it's really pretty convenient so at any rate with this type of uh, you need to generate the key you need to have a key down on your local computer and then you need to have a key up at the server and essentially what's going to happen is when you log in um, these two things are going to be uh, compared and if they match up good if they don't then your login session is rejected now um, I don't understand the deep down dirty uh, details of encryption um, really encryption many people who deal with encryption they're also uh, you know they've got a PhD in math or you know I mean, I'm just saying at the very highest levels. Of course, there are professionals who deal with encryption at low at the low level that don't have a specific math background. But at any rate, um, uh, well, as users of scripting languages, we don't have to get that far down into the dirty details. But the first thing we need to do, step by step, we're going to generate a key locally here, and you can use this command on the Mac: ssh dash key gen um dash t r s a so r s a is the kind of contrib con encryption s s h dash key gen is the um command now here's what we're going to do to make it easy to make it easy we're going to do this we're just going to when we see this we're just going to hit enter again do nothing and then uh, already exists. Override it. Um, usually you won't get overwrite, but here I do, so I'm going to hit enter. Enter a passphrase, and we're going to say, no, we don't want any passphrase. We want to make this really friggin' easy. Right? Okay. So here, you're just going to hit enter again, and then this is going to seem strange to you. It says, ask for another passphrase. Just no. Don't hit enter again to get through that. All right, bam. All right, now it's been created and it's been put in the right place on your local machine, okay? Uh, and you really don't have to do anything. Now, what we're going to do um, is we are now going to copy this up to our server at DigitalOcean. There's a command for this, copy ID. Uh, and uh, if I remember correctly, well, just see if it works. If it doesn't work, leave something in the comments because if I remember, there may have been an issue with some Macs. 
hey first of all I just want to tell you guys I'm completely I understand that videos are no fucking good unless they get you all the way through to the final conclusion all right I understand that and so if this particular command isn't available to you put something down there in the comments and I will watch and I will try to get back to you I'm gonna review my notes well let first let's just do it I'm not saying this little this little glitch will affect everybody but it may affect some people okay so I'm gonna go um, root at and now I need to get um, I need to get my IP address Um, let's see, just a moment here. Okay, just a moment. Um, okay, got it. There we are. So, I'm going to put my IP address there. And there we go. Now it's logging in up there and what it's doing, okay now when you, you're going to need to enter this once, okay, you're going to need to enter your password once. Okay, you're going to need to do that once. Okay, number of keys added. Okay, now. I went up okay so essentially the program took me up to the server it copied them onto the server into the right place where they need to be up there for the program to find them when when you log in I mean it, later it's going to be the SSH program and so let's do this Well, let's do this. Okay, so now we can do SSH root at uh, one. All right, so I I fired right in there without using uh, my password. Guess what? There's a way to create these things called aliases. Um, and essentially what you can do you can create your own command in another video I'm gonna have that up on my YouTube account uh, so that you can essentially just type in maybe just two letters and BAM your whole login process there you noticed just a moment ago I went through the process of okay so here I am up at DigitalOcean let's exit and get out of there okay now remember I, I had to type that in even that is a little bit of a pain in the ass why not have like um, uh, some simple command like my server and then boom you're right up there um, okay so all these we can create aliases for these commands and in another video I'm going to show you how to do that many people do it it's one of those things everybody needs to know or I think it's useful to know um, okay